all right so our components and pages are defined uh, next we'll define uh, this user component we'll define like this menu user management and then with these three so this is also done inside admin so if we go to let's collapse this all right so we we need to define the list list group so you can find that on here it is called list yeah like so expansion lists so here like so all right so you can see code over here so it got list group with same list item tile and then you can just copy that from there so we have list group and then list tile for each so uh, so this is activator which is user management like so user management is activator and we will load these three links and then we got three links list tile tile one for user one for role one for permission so user we have icon insert action and then content link so it should take the user so similarly copy these and create for roles permission okay so uh, now we need to define this route admin users in app.js so admin users will take us to users component similarly roles permission will take them to this component so let's define inside pages users all right so here you'll see a bit uh, code but i'll explain so if someone visits user will load this uh, data table so this data table is also available in beautify we can use that component the search for data table here we go we got a lot of options so i'll use this one because it already got like so if someone needs this i will just copy the code from here template we'll copy everything inside template you can just copy it here and then paste it inside users this template and replace with the code that i copied similarly we need script go to script section and copy everything inside this script section all right so once that are uh, pulled in we will have uh, this default table so this is just layout for users table now we need uh, the api endpoint for pulling in real users all right so now we need a uh, controller like we'll create a user controller where uh, we'll define all endpoints to create user delete user and everything correct so i'll create php artisan make controller and then i will create inside our admin api folder so i'll create admin api folder and then i'll create a user controller so that will be the resourceful controller so once that is created uh, let's go there it will be user controller so by the way that will be inside app http controllers admin api and then here users controller user controller all right so i've defined some code already here so so index method will uh, just return user uh, resource collection so by the way uh, i've used the api resources and store method will be the simple store method with some validation and then create a user so if uh, so this will handle in a moment assigning role and permission similarly update method will be similar to that and destroy is just deleting the user nothing much like so so in index uh, we are returning all the users uh, so for that we need user resource that will create so php artisan make 
resource and then it will be user resource all right so once you do that it will create a user resource let's go there user resource inside app http resources so by default it will come like this to array uh, i've added these these additional stuffs but it will come like this uh, return parent array okay so it will return all of the all of the fields from users table all right so i've modified that a bit let's i mean uncomment that so here we'll get all the uh, fields from user table and if you need any additional data that you need to pass to backend then you'll define an array additional data and then roles and permissions so this roles will be the user roles so i'm returning only one role so in this application we will just assign only one role to particular user and then permission these permissions will give a uh, user's permission since we installed the this laravel permission package we have access to all those relation so make sure you install it correctly and you can read and go through documentation it's quite easy you can just access that so we only need uh, like this permissions this will give us all permission and rules and then I merge these two array to create one single field, one single set of data that will return to front end. So once controller is done, we need to define the API routes, which we'll do in api.php. So here I've defined uh, these routes. So these will define in a moment. So for now, route API resource, then user, and then user controller. So API resources is method mm -hmm. which will just give us. Uh, so but basically API resource will exclude uh, so edit. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, so and edit route because uh, since it is API route, we do not need to show form. So we don't need show method, and similarly we don't need to show edit form uh, like uh, using Laravel routes. So we excluded that. So API resource you can read about this. It will just give us uh, those routes like index route store update and delete route only those route okay so once that is done we can access uh, the users like slash api slash api slash users will show all the users all right so once we have endpoint for user card we can now go to our front end user start view and here we can define define a way to pull in pull in all users so if you uh, see the users component that we copied from beautify website default template so here we have yeah so this data table this table uh, data table will display all the items and it will uh, get all items as table data and all headers like so and then it will display all data by looping through them like so so we need to define what are the headers for table like in the array so text for the the table header and then value yeah you, you don't need value but uh, it is a good practice so username email role created at actions all right so those are the headers and the table data will be the user's data that will be pulling from backend. Then all other are edited index uh, that we'll handle in a moment. So for now, just pull in the user's data. So this table data, we want to have all collection of users. So to do that, we have this initialize method, which will be hooked in when the component is created. So when component is created, we want to pull in all the API user, uh, all the users. So since we define this endpoint, in Laravel backend in a moment so so I think we are just defined that so API users we just um, send the get request and then we got response response dot data dot data and then we'll assign everything to table data yeah so that's it that will uh, give us all the users and we can see list of users like so here all right that's it 
so after we got uh, this in table data we can access that like props dot item so this is the beautify way uh, if you don't want this beautify data table you can just simply do uh, for this loop and use this HTML table you just need to loop through this table data all right something like user dot name user dot email yeah that is the option so if you use beautify you might need to uh, study the code a bit but uh, yeah it is uh, cleaner in my opinion yeah, you can use simple uh, data table or simple HTML table for that it's just option we just got data in form of table data and then we can loop through the way we want so once uh, that is done we'll have table next we need uh, so after that done we need uh, we need to display rules over here so role of user so for that we need uh, additional data are passing from backend we need to pass additional data from backend like we did here so role which uh, will give us role and permission which will give us all permission of user so this way this will get only the table uh, data from users table so if we do this we will get additional role and permission all right so now what we can do here is we can just access like props dot item dot rule all right so if user has a role, we'll display role name. Otherwise, we'll display not available. These two line of code. So this is the displaying of user part. Uh, next, if uh, if we hit new item, it will display uh, these uh, this kind of form. So this is also when we copied code from Beautify, this form comes by default. So let me show you. So this is the data table which we covered. Let's collapse this and over here if we see we have this dialog component so it is like a model component which will have the form which will be uh, reusable for uh, reusable for both editing and creating so inside dialog we have this v card and this card got form title and then inside v text we have um, these form field so uh, yeah text field for name email password so these I have created you can copy this code and for rules I have this select box which contains all all the rules this all rules will fetch from backend similarly if we know how to do for rules same thing for permission edited item permission and all permissions so this edited item will be the single object which contains all the form field which will be passing in backend so yeah so here edited item will be this default item so this default item is just for reference what are the field which will be assigning to edited item and then all rules and all permissions so these all rules will be fetching from backend as well so api slash rules uh, will get all rules api slash permissions will get all permission so again um, after we have user controller so for permission and role it will be exactly same we can just duplicate these two file user controller and permission controller and then create this, those so if you go to role controller you can see it actually i've duplicated those and then created so similarly i've created role resources and then uh, fast in all roles similarly for store update so you can study these code not different not difficult so instead of defining role i've defined it in constructor and then so this role is same thing as doing role and then create so if you are confused all right so so just to make code cleaner i've done that same thing here this role means role double column okay so similarly i've defined role resource all right so permission so once you know how to do for user you can do for role simple crud similarly for permission permission controller same thing permission resource displaying all resources doing store and update like so all right 
and after that we have defined that on api.php like so api so api.rules will give us all rule api dot uh, slash permissions will give us all permission user dot view yeah so here we have pulled in rules and permission and then assign it to all rules all permissions so let me show you in browser so if we refresh if we inspect this and go to view so this is the users component users and over here we have all permission pulled in we have all rules pulled in default item edited item so for example we are creating uh, we are editing this one so everything will be filled so that will be inside edited item already created let's see for new item so if we do new item so keep eye on this editor item. so currently this is empty so as we type the name all right so name will be stored here email will be stored here and then similarly password rules permission password email so everything will be stored here like so and once we have this object edited item which contains all the data from form then we can pass it to backend like so so once we hit save it will trigger this save method and if we see inside save method so if edited index is greater than, uh, than minus one so this uh, this is just a way of telling whether we are editing or uh, creating so this means we are editing this means we are creating so uh, in this case we'll just do the put request otherwise post request so while creating uh, we are doing like this so we are sending post request to api users and then we are passing the edited item which contains all form parameter and then we are just logging data all right similarly for editing we are just sending so we users uh, we need to send users id so edited item dot id contains users id and then similarly we are passing all form parameter and then we are updating so once you know how to do for users uh, just duplicate this same process for roles and then you will get role so uh, first try by creating for permission permission card like we do, uh, did for users and then uh, you can do for roles and then for users so these two things are you can do it yourself if you want to uh, level up your skills so uh, you can try these and let me know if I, I need to make any detailed tutorial on these or if you understand this uh, let me know on comment section also I have um, I've put the slack link so you can uh, join that slack channel and you can ask questions there about these uh, or about any problem you face uh, I'll be there for health so yeah let me know on comment section about feedback on this video uh, if you liked it just like and if you haven't subscribed uh, please subscribe yeah i'll see you in the next video in this series uh, next we'll add uh, more features uh, like these uh, notifications uh, more other features that will exist on dashboard like uh, in dashboard will display other reports uh, charts and we'll handle other data correct easily here yeah so i'll see you in the next video uh, bye